All right, I'm Paige DeSilvey, and I am the training coordinator here in the ECC. And I also deal with all of the hiring, so I'm kind of the hiring manager as well as the outreach coordinator, which we're not doing a whole lot of outreach right now because of COVID. But when we can, we do go out to events and try to recruit because that's what we're in need of right now is new employees. What we do is we answer 911 calls and um, you can call us on 911 or admin lines. So we do answer cell phone calls that hit towers that are located in Roanoke County. And we answer those calls and we take the information and then we dispatch police, fire and rescue. We deal with um, Benton Police Department as well as Roanoke County and then all of the fire and rescue stations. And um, we also take after hour calls for Western Virginia Water Authority. We do warrants after hours and just got a lot of responsibility, lots of things that we do here. So what I do, most people would just call a 911 dispatcher, but it's a lot more than that. Um, I take 911 calls. I also take non-emergency calls for the county and all the agencies. Um, I dispatch police for Roanoke County, the town of Vinton, and then we also dispatch fire and rescue for that entire area as well. Um, so at the same time, I'm answering 911 calls. I'm listening to my units on the radio and the radio traffic and responding to them. Um, but we do a lot of other things up here as well. We're entering warrants and protective orders and taking um, animal control calls and um, checking for stolen items and entering them and helping the public in, in many ways beyond just initial 911 calls. Um, first, we, we really need unique people. Um, we need people that have flexible schedules. We do work 12-hour shifts from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And so we need somebody that's going to be flexible and understands that we work nights, holidays, weekends, all of the special events and things like that. So we need somebody that's going to understand that and be able to work the flexible schedule that it is. Um, we also want people who are able to maintain their composure. Obviously, when you get you know high priority calls, we can't have you fall into pieces. We need someone that's going to actually be able to handle the stress of the job and then be able to think clearly enough to send out the appropriate help and what's, what's needed on each call. And we really need someone who's a multitasker. And most people think they can multitask, but ours is more of a split ear kind of multitasking. So you're gonna take information from a caller and be processing that information as well as listening to your responding units on the radio and be able to you know, fulfill their request and to document everything as it goes on. So it's a lot to it. Um, but it's very rewarding. It's very, there's never a day I go home that I don't know that I haven't helped somebody. Um, my units every day that I've been here have gone home safe. I've never had somebody go home injured. I've, you know, taken the calls where I've reunited a uh, parent with their three lost children who wandered off and um, found the woman with Alzheimer's who wandered off and had gotten lost and couldn't find their husband. And so those moments are incredibly rewarding. Um, it is a lot to do. You are taking stressful calls and answering the radio and it's a lot of details and you have to constantly be able to adapt and change and um, multitask a lot um, but it's it's definitely a career I'm very glad that I stepped into um, and, and makes me proud of what I do and, and the people that I work with. What you would need to do if you wanted to apply is go online, it's RoanokeCountyVA.gov forward slash jobs and then search for communications officer one and that will give you a little bit of the you know job description of what it is that you're applying for. Once you apply the application does come to me and I review that. I will send out an invitation to test. We set up different test dates and I will send you an invitation to test. You register by responding to the email and let me know that you want to come in. And once you come in for testing, um, we do several different things. We're going to do a typing test. You have to type 25 words per minute. And then we also um, have a 14-page composite history that we send you ahead of time. And so you've got identifying documentation that you need to bring in as well as the composite history on the day of testing. Once you get here, we're going to give you the typing test and then we do a situational um, aptitude test and we also do a vocational suitability test that day. Those will be sent off to Roanoke Psychological where they grade those and send us the um, information back in a couple of days. While you're here and you're doing that type of testing, we're also going to do a critical test, which is a computer-based test. And while you're doing that, we run your background, your driver's transcript, as well as um, your credit report. And we review that and do a quick interview, just kind of an or informal interview there, and talk to you a little bit, let you ask questions about what you're getting into, and just you know let us get to know you a little bit better. 
Once the grade comes back from Roanoke Psychological, then you would move to a background investigation. If that comes back clear, then we would have a manager's interview. We also fingerprint you. And then we have been doing the ECC observation. We're not doing that until we, you put in like a two week notice because just because of COVID. So we're trying to be real careful on who we bring in and how many people we bring in and stuff like that. Um, after you do that, the Chief of Police for Vinton and the Chief of Police for Vernon County both have to sign off on your application and your whole file and make sure that they're, you know, they approve. So we get their approval and then you have a post-psychological exam and a physical. And then if you pass all that, then we offer you the job and give you, you know, an opportunity to give a two-week notice if you need one. We do have four, week of, four weeks of classroom training, and so we do that, and then you've got up to about 32 weeks of on-the-job training, which means you're gonna sit with one of our communications training, or training officers, and you sit with them. They're right beside you. They're kind of like your shadow. They tell you exactly what to do, and as you learn, they're gonna pack back off a little bit at a time to kind of give you the room to do what you've learned. Um, but it usually takes, I would say, anywhere between four and seven months to get somebody you know, in the door and then get them to work on their own to be able to function as a as a dispatcher and they do get a five percent increase in salary um, once they are able to work on their own there is that incentive to you know get released pretty quick as quick as you can study as much as you can learn the job as fast as you can to get that five percent increase in pay uh, it is stressful at times um, it is definitely there can be a lot of calls coming in at once um, I can have a suicidal caller that I'm on the phone with and, and trying to get them to hang on while I'm trying to catch radio traffic from a unit who's doing something else. Um, and so you can have a lot going on at one time and they can be intense um, situations that you're dealing with. Um, but the stress is managed, you know, it's you, you take it and you do the next thing and, and we just keep working together step by step to get things taken care of. It is. It's nice knowing that you can help people. Um, even though we're not there on scene, we still are able to help people just to get through. Uh, you know, most people don't call us if they're having a good day. They're going to call us if they're in crisis. And so we help them work through that crisis and we get them to calm down enough to give us the information that we need to be able to give the responding units to get them help and to have the units actually get on scene and be able to handle everything that's going on. The Roanoke County is a wonderful county to work for. Um, I had researched lots um, before applying. Um, there are things, that we work long shifts, they're 12 hour shifts, um, but we only work 14 days a month. That's like three extra weekends every month that I have off. They can go online at runoutcountyva.gov forward slash jobs and they can look there. We do have our own page if they want to go to runoutcountyva.gov forward slash ECC, find out a little bit more about us there. And then if they want to apply, like I said, go to the forward slash jobs and apply for communications officer one. Um, that does give them a job description, kind of goes through what, you know, what we're looking for. And of course, anytime they want to email me, it's pdesilvi at runoutcountyva.gov. They can email me at any time, ask any questions that they'd like, and I'll be happy to get back with them. And, and you know, we want to be as transparent as possible to let people know what they're applying for, because it's not just a secretarial job. It's not just clerical, like a lot of people may think. Um, there's a lot more to it than that. And so any questions that people have, I'd love to be able to talk to them about it.